This movie tells a story about a young boy named Mahito who ventures into a world shared by the living and the dead. The world where death comes to an end and life finds a new beginning. First of all, this movie is visually good. Every frame is magnificent as it delivers visual delights with stunning 2D animation. It has rich aesthetic, it's bright, colorful, and the characters are drawn with plenty of attention to detail. Unfortunately, the story and the characters are disappointing. The script suffers from a convoluted plot with too many characters and weak exposition. The storyline meanders as it's adding one subplot on top of another. The narrative doesn't stop developing, throwing new characters and themes onto the screen almost up to the last minute. The movie falters in terms of building emotional impact. A lot happens within the first 30 minutes. Before you know it, the mother of the main character dies. We never see the mother before her death. Knowing her prior to death would give us more room to grieve. As it stands, we never have a clear idea of who she even was. This film barely establishes the relationship between the main character and his father as well. It's hard to empathize with the main character as he remains at a cold distance from the audience. We don't get endeared to him, nor do we have any reason to latch onto him beyond our pity for him. About midway through, the plot takes a turn into more bizarre and surreal territory. The tonal shift takes some getting used to as we meet a whole new set of creatures with a whole new set of rules infused with all manner of meaning. It feels like you're watching a completely different movie than you were just five minutes ago. New crucial characters are constantly introduced even up until the film's final act, adding a sense of lack of cohesion. Everyone just seems to be on screen to move the plot forward. The movie doesn't leave enough room for the plot or characters to breathe, so it begins to become exhausting sooner than later. The lack of emotional resonance detracted from the overall experience and left the audience longing for a more fleshed out film. In the end, despite its fantastic visuals, the movie feels hollow and overstuffed. It feels like missing a climax or narrative act which seem to underlie the audience detachment in forming a deeper connection with the characters. Overall, it's not really worth to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.